Hey, good morning, folks. Welcome to the Morning Coffee Commentary. Hey, when I was a little old kid, I knew my mama was serious whenever she'd ask me the same question over and over again. She'd say something like, hey, anything bad going on in school today? No, ma'am. Pause for a few seconds. She wouldn't even change her inflection in her voice. She'd say, Ken, anything bad going on in school today? No, ma'am. And about the third time she asked me, I realized, okay, she knows something about <laughs> that I did that I'm not either remembering or I'm hiding because the power of repetition is mighty and it'll get you attention, right? Had some employees that worked with me for uh, 20 something years, man, led them folks for 20 years. One of them come up to me one day and he said, I've been working for you for 20 years. You've been motivating us and inspiring us and encouraging us all along this way. But you know, you pretty much do it in different ways every time, but you say the same thing. I said, I know, I ain't real smart and I don't have any other ideas. I mean, you either work hard, you do what you can't do the best you can and we'll all get along in life. I don't know what else to tell you except for maybe try to find different ways to tell you. Power of repetition, when Jesus was on earth, he went from place to place. There was always people that wanted to come and um, revel and chased after him and try to get after him and try to show him up in public and all that kind of stuff. And then there was people that came along that were curious, just trying to follow along and see what crazy miracle he was going to do next. But Jesus always slipped away. And he'd go away and during the night all the revelers and the crazy people would make their plans and do their things and all that stuff and he would come back the next day. And during the light of day he'd have the same message. You need to follow my commands. You need to love because God is love. You need to repent from your wicked ways. You need to come and pray and, and, and follow me. Come and follow what God set up for you to do. It's not that hard. It's the power of repetition. Now, I don't care if he's morning commentary, com commentaries, if we're doing pandemics or we're doing riots all over the country or we're about to go on a big mission trip to a foreign country or what. It's all the same. God tells us to humble ourselves, to pray, to seek his face, to turn from our wicked ways, and he'll hear us. He'll forgive us for our sins, and he'll heal our nation. It's as simple as that. We can repeat that over and over and over again. That is the answer to the question. Well, sure could use a little good news today.